hello, this land has mystery. I'm down here in the bottom. Yeah, it's just like look down into your right. I'm in the bottom corner, there's a little box. Yeah, that's me. Hey, mystery here. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. What I'm going to do today is show you what I have done in the past several years to save money on my living expenses. <laughs> My living expenses, unless you count food, are about zero. I have a $50 monthly cell phone bill, which includes unlimited data, unlimited hotspot, and I, I pay an annual auto insurance premium, which is less than $300. Other than that, I don't pay anything else. I don't pay rent, I don't have a mortgage, I don't have any debt. And so the things that I'll show you today in this video are ways that you might be able to also cut down on your living expenses. Maybe you are sick of paying rent, uh, maybe you want to become a nomad. Maybe you just want to travel more. I think there's something in this video for everybody at, as long as you have some interest in, in traveling or exploring new parts of the world. I'll start off by showing you this map of the countries that I've either lived in or visited. Oh, good for you! And how was it? This isn't meant to be a humble brag because I think anyone with a little cash and a passport can travel. Rather, it's to show you how far you can go on a limited budget, especially if you do some of the things that I'm going to show you in this video. So whether your goal is to travel internationally or stay in your home country, I'm going to share with you a few ways that you can live for free. So I just want to give you a brief 30 second elevator pitch version of my life of the past 10 years just to give you some context. From about 2011 to 2018, I worked in the wine industry, traveling around the world, making wine, actually working in the wine cellars and sometimes even in the vineyards and lab making wine. I was based mostly in California, but I also traveled around the world and made wine in New Zealand, Australia, uh, Portugal, and South Africa. And in 2018, then I took a full-time wine job and I managed an urban garden in Northern California. So I was living on site. I wasn't paying any rent. 2018 was the last time I paid rent. And I hope to never have to pay rent again. I hate paying rent. 2019, then I left California, went up to Alaska for the season. And at the end of the season in the fall, that's when I started traveling, but not for wine. That was just uh, for fun. And came back just before the pandemic hit. And I hope to get back uh, globe trotting again pretty soon. <music> So the first thing I'll show you in this video are volunteer opportunity websites. I've used one of these. I'll show you that one in a minute. And there are several to choose from. There are probably dozens to choose from. I'm just going to touch on a couple of them. Then I'll get into house sitting and pet sitting, which I'm doing now, as you can tell by my backdrop. I'm not in my van this time. I am currently pet sitting for a family in Denver while they are traveling for spring break. So the first thing I'm going to show you is HelpX. It's based in the UK, but there are ads worldwide. It's a work exchange website. So what you do is you find a host in, like I said, there are numerous countries where you can do this, contact the host and apply for a, a spot there. Uh, you can do it anywhere from a couple days to a couple months and even longer if you desire. And they tell you upfront what you'll be doing. So it's all very transparent. There's a review and rating system. So I'll show you how it works. So you go up here, you click on find hosts. And when you do that, it'll, it'll just give you the most recently updated in the entire world. So this is today, it's March 31st. And so this is in Portugal. Oh, it's in Alentejo. That's uh, one of my favorite wine regions in Portugal. So you can see they grow fruit and vegetables on their organically certified farm. Uh, on the farm, we need help in all areas of farm life. This can be fruit picking, fruit drying, canning, gardening, light construction, DIY work, etc. So this is in Canada. It's another organic farms day. And they also have ratings. You can see they have eight ratings. Newman Lake, Washington. It's a farm stay. Um, La Vousson de Chardouin. <laughs> That's probably actually how you say it because I exaggerate so much. And so it's based in the UK. Most of the ads you're going to see are in English. Uh, so Denmark, Nepal, another one. Oh, that's in Languedoc. I wonder if they do wine. Meals are vegan. Wine is served in the evening meal. Eh? All right. And they're non-smoking. They must not be French. Uh, so Queensland, Australia, Indiana, Quebec, Switzerland, Scotland. So, I mean, it, it, it's really all over and you can travel around the world and it's, it's free. Once in a while, you'll see one that requires uh, payment, but it's usually like five or $10 per day. It's usually in like poorer countries where they want you to kind of pitch in, but you can see as I'm scrolling through probably too fast for you to catch up, but. There are just so many countries that you can do this in. And now that we're coming out of COVID, this is a great option for people if they want to want to get traveling again, get abroad. Uh, Sweden is very high on my list of countries that I want to visit. So let me just show you a listing and how that works. Uh, let's say I'm in North America, which I am because it's COVID. So we'll stay in the United States. 
Let's say I want to go to Washington because that's one of my favorite states. Click on that. I'll just leave all these blank and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's try Lopez Island, see what that looks like. And there you can see a little bit about it. They've got pictures. Oh, wow. Okay. I might, I might pay for this site again because it looks pretty nice. Comes with a boat. So it tells you a little bit about it, the helper. He has a helper here now. She's awesome. And then here's a little bit more about it. This is a beautiful area. However, we will be roughing it. Outhouse off grid for now. Hey, I don't mind that. Staying in a tour bus or a tent while we work to complete the tiny house and other projects. Cool. San Juan Islands are, are beautiful. So that's Helpax. I used it in Spain and Morocco and kind of in, in between wine travels. So in Spain, I was living in this mountain town called Montajaque. It was a bed and breakfast. There were little casitas. Every day I would just go out and work for a few hours. Uh, there was another American guy there who I was living with. And yeah, we just, we built a fence. Uh, we prepped rooms sometimes, just random projects here and there. We had so much free time and it was, it was incredible. I did it in Morocco at a bed and breakfast right on the beach. Every morning I would just wake up, prepare breakfast for the guests. There is too much butter on those trays. Not on those trays. No, sir. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm mucho burro ali. Okay? They were mostly long-term guests from Europe, so you got to know them. And it was super easy. Just make breakfast and spend the rest of the day on the beach or traveling around the little village. It was... It was a lot of fun. So Workaway is another one. This is a little more popular than HelpX. At least it was when I did HelpX. And it's, it's the same thing. You find find a host. I wonder if that's a van life guy. That could be. See, that could be you. You can overlook idyllic villages with your new friends, like these young ladies are doing. Or you can just gaze into the abyss, like this lady's doing. Or you can water a horse's tongue. The last one I'll mention here is Woofing, Worldwide Organization of Organic Farms or Farming, something like that. So this is one you've probably heard of too. It's not all organic farming. It's supposed to be, but people bend the rules sometimes. But generally, you know, you go and make a difference and volunteer on an organic farm. Often get free produce. You can do it, you see here, you can do it all around the world. Okay, so that's just a brief overview of how work exchange programs work. The next thing I'll show you is how I find house sitting and pet sitting gigs. There are a number of house sitting and pet sitting websites. This is not going to be an exhaustive list. I'll just touch on a few of the different house sitting and pet sitting websites and then at the end I'll show you the one that I use and show you kind of how I use it. So the first one here is called House Sitters America. This is a good one and it's got sort of an international uh, affiliate network. 50 bucks. That's pretty cheap. If it's something you would use a lot like it is for me, it's well worth it. The next one here is called Nomador. I like it because it has Nomad in the title which is maybe what you are. If you're watching this channel, there's a good good chance that you're either a nomad or related to me. It's based in France. It's worldwide now. A lot of the ads that you'll see are in French, but uh, you can find house sits on here all over the world. And it's for house sitting and pet sitting. Yes, you can see here, however the hell you say that and that. But here's Bainbridge Island, Washington. So there are ads worldwide even though it is based in France. If you're going to be traveling in France or like in a French speaking country, this might be a good option for you. The next one is called Mind My House. And this one is the cheapest option, $20 a year. So imagine that as your living expense. If you can work remotely, for example, and you don't want to live in a van, but you just want to house it 365 days a year, you can do that for 20 bucks. And this one is called Rover. So interestingly, I just sold my mountain bike here in Denver to a guy who uses Rover. And he said he gets paid. Now, I asked him about the startup cost and he said it's free except you do have to pay a $35 background check, but the, the site itself doesn't charge you. Uh, the background check is what charges you, which you have to go through. Most of these sites require some kind of background check, understandably. So with Rover, you could do dog boarding where they come and live in your house, not the people, the dogs. House sitting, which is what he was doing. And then I also think he was doing one of these. I don't know which one or which combination of these that he was doing, but he was getting paid. You can also do it for cats, not for like walking because nobody walks their cats. I mean, look at how happy Corinna looks. Look at how happy the dogs look. And, oh, that's not Corinna. That's LaShawn C. But I'm sure Corinna is equally happy. If you are going to house sit and do these like doggy daycare here, dog walking, drop-in visits, you're probably going to need to be in a metropolitan area. I don't like cities particularly, so it's not for me. But if you live in a city or if you kind of want to travel to different cities and use Rover. You can live for free and you can make a little side cash too. So check out Rover. So here's the one that I use. This is called Trusted House Sitters. 
Uh, you can see I have an account, I'm logged in up here. So when I first started using it, I was in Japan and I had paid the sizable subscription fee, which at the time was like $90 for a house sitter. Now it's I think 125, it's, it's expensive. And I thought I had just wasted that money because I paid the money and started applying for house sits and I was kind of downtrodden and thinking, man, I just blew that money and now my travels are gonna be expensive because when I went to Japan, I still had five or six months of traveling to go and I was like, well, how am I gonna afford that if I have to pay for accommodation every night? So luckily, I applied to a house sit in Turkey and I kind of forgot about it actually and then one day I just randomly got this video message. <laughs> it is our balcony. And Nutella. Nuti, this is honey. This is the bedroom uh, front of the sea, your bathroom. And they offered me the house sit. It was in Mediterranean Turkey and I stayed there for about three weeks. Had a wonderful time looking after two great dogs and uh, yeah it's, it's just Turkey is such an underrated place especially the Mediterranean coast I really really loved it so after Turkey I went to Italy and I spent uh, three months house sitting in Italy just north of Venice South of Valdo Biedne, which is Prosecco country. If you're a wine person, you, you might might know that. A couple hours south of Cortina, which is where the Olympics are going to be in a few years, the Winter Olympics. The homeowner was American. She had a bunch of cats that I looked after and some foster cats too. And I used her grandfather's old bike. Her grandfather had passed away many years earlier, but she still had his bike. It was from like the 30s or 40s. And so I would just travel to all these different villages. I was living in a small village. I would bike to other small villages have lunch, have coffee, whatever. Or I'd bike to the train station, lock up my bike, and in 45 or 50 minutes, I'd be in Venice. I spent two or three days a week in Venice because it was just such an incredible place. And I could get there on the train for five euro. And then after Italy, I flew up to the UK and I did a house sit on a barge in the Brighton Marina, about an hour south of London. I was pet sitting for two Chocolate Lab sisters and their older brother, Peyton. They loved each other very, very much. After a month in Brighton, I went up to Liverpool, and uh, I had never been there before, so I did the whole Beatles tour and Magical Mystery Bus, uh, drove down Penny Lane listening to Penny Lane, went to all the Beatles childhood homes, and I'd highly recommend that if you ever get up to Liverpool. This is how it works. So I click on that. There's a map here if you want to just kind of search generally by region, or you can search up here in the search box and click on the area that you want to go. If you don't do any of that, it'll just give you the most recent listings here. This site is also based in the UK, so you're going to get a lot of ads for house sits in the UK. Bahrain, wow, that would be cool. I've never been to Bahrain. Iowa City, that looks like a nice little place. Let's find a place that we can all go together and have some fun. I like Switzerland, but I don't want to go there right now. Uh, this is where I am now. Not this house sit, but I'm in Denver at a different house sit. But actually, I could apply for that, depending on my mood. Ooh, let's go to Tucson. Actually, it's July and August. Um, yeah, but that looks pretty nice. Okay. You definitely need that if you're in Tucson in July. But that looks like a wonderful house. And yeah, it tells you about the home, highly desirable neighborhood aren't they all? Responsibility, Shadow and Aspen, the dates. And also what I like about this is it tells you the number of applicants. It doesn't tell you the exact number, but it always gives you a range. So if I wanted to apply, I would apply now, select the dates you want to apply for, and then I would say, yo, 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 I'm totally down. No, I would never do that, probably. Uh, I would say, hi, exclamation point. Um, I don't know. I would love to look after, and then I would memorize the names of the dogs. What were they? Shadow and Aspen while you're away this summer. And then I would blah, 
blah, blah, and make a few paragraphs and uh, all that. But I'm going to be in Alaska this summer, so I will not be applying for that. But that's how that works. And of course, if you were going to be traveling somewhere specific, a country or even a city, you can narrow the search as much as you want. You can filter the search too for certain animals or a certain duration. Maybe you only have three days or maybe you only have a week. You can filter the search by that metric as well. Let's say I want to go to uh, Florida. It's still cold, kind of, in part of the country. And then here are all the places in Florida. You can look at the map here too if you just have a region that you want to stay. But Anyway, yeah, Trusted House Sitters, I would highly recommend this site or really any of these pet sitting sites that I showed you. There are so many that you can choose from. I would much rather be around a bunch of animals than a bunch of people. And so this site is great for me. That way I don't have to pay for, you know, animal care and I don't have the responsibility of owning an animal. But I still get to spend a lot of time with animals, which is a lot of fun. All right. Well, I hope you picked up something from that. Like I said, I think there's something in this video for everybody. And I really hope that uh, you'll take something away from this, that maybe you'll enhance your travels or begin your travels by using certain services like this. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I'll see you in the world. <laughs> Ciao Venezia, ciao Venezia, ciao ciao ciao, ciao Venezia, ciao Venezia, ciao, ciao ciao.